Please, Nicholas back. Yeah, back, 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 back. Another video. I felt like doing another one. I'm on a roll. It's a trio. Let's do it. So, I use a lot of raspberry pies, okay? I like pie. Pie's great. Pie tastes of pie. Especially if it's raspberry. I like pies. But not the uh, edible ones. I like the raspberry pie. Because it's great. So, we're going to use today on Ubuntu or any Debian-based distro or any ARM-based distro, I think, as far as I'm aware. Raspbian. No, it's not Raspbian. It's a Raspberry Pi Imager. Can't use Raspbian on Ubuntu, can you? Really? Let's be honest. Bit of a joke there. So, you want to flash your image to your SD card. Now, I remember when the Imager first came out, it was very, very basic. But now it's got quite a lot better. I'll be really honest with you. So, I'm just going to choose my OS. Remember, you can download this from the store or install it via Snap Store or Terminal. Whatever you want to do. So I'm going to choose my OS. You can have the basic Raspberry Pi OS, 32-bit, no problem, it's 1.1 gig. It's super fine, it runs great, I like it. You do have to add some stuff to it, like Pi apps and stuff like that, but it's great. Then we get our other Raspberry Pi OSs. So we've got Pi OS Lite and Pi OS Full, which is the really, really big one that comes with all the bits and bobs that you need, including LibreOffice and all that. So it comes with all the software we need. So I would recommend a 16 gig card for that, for a Pi, if you're going to use it properly. But it will do on a 5. On a 5. On an 8. But I would recommend a 16 and minimum. Okay, for that one. Also, there's general other purposes OSs. So we've got Ubuntu Desktop Server and Core Images. Risk OS, if you really want to get risk. Okay. Give it a try. Be all right. Yeah. Get Cody, I'm not going to click on that. Emulation and gaming. So you can have RetroPie and Recall Box 2. Oh no, they're great, they're great, they're great. Miscellaneous utility properties. I'm not going to go to there. You can format the card from here or use something you've downloaded. But what we're going to do today, we're just going to go to RetroPie OS's other, and I'm going to download Light. So I'm going to click on Light, and this will download it for you. You don't have to have the image, it will download it for you. So I'm going to choose my SD card. And there it is, and a bigger one. Yeah. So that's the one I'm going to do. And we're going to click right. It says all existing data on the mass storage device will be erased. Am I okay with that? Of course I am. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing the video. So I'll click on yes. It want my password because otherwise some naughty people might get in. And we just start and wait with it. Okay. Now this can take some time. Okay. Now I'm looking over to my SD card. And it's flashing fine, okay? So what I might do, I might actually pause the video and see how we go. Or shortly have run. Now I'm going to pause, because it's take ages I was, okay? So I'll see you in a bit. Or shall I? Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Now as you can see, I paused the video there, and you're saying, well, oh, Sneaky, that took a really long time. Yes, it did. The reason being, I've got a uh, US3 Three USB three port with a USB one reader of a HC three four card in it. So it's taking a while. Okay, bearing in mind you have to download the image at the same time, but that's not the problem of my setup here. It's just I'm using a really slow reader because I broke the other one. I've really got to replace some stuff. So now it's verifying the card to make sure everything is hunky dory and was going to be working correctly. Now for Raspberry Pi OS Lite, you would be using this more for us. Um, so a robot or an off-site sort of thing, really. You, it's, it's not going to be with a desktop. Or well, obviously, you can add a desktop if you wanted to and get busy with the old terminal. But that's entirely up to you what you want to do. But yeah, don't be like me and have a really, really slow card reader. Oh, it's really bad. So we're halfway through now. It shouldn't take too long. Now, bear in mind, if you download the image before you want to write it, it will be an awful lot quicker. Trust me. Now, the imager, the Raspberry Pi imager, is not the fastest in the world. You would be better off going DD or going to Etcher, or, or is it Bellina Etcher now it is? We might do another one on that, I don't know. I think I've done one years ago. But it's now Bellina Etcher, and it's really, really fast and works to the point. Although with some distributions, I've found it just doesn't write it very well to the device. But hey, that's probably just the OS, because we... Linux users, we use some weird stuff sometimes, don't we? So anyway, we're nearly at. Once it's finished verifying, it's ready to go. You can plug it into your Pi, your Pi Zero, your, your Pi 400, whatever you want to do, and do what you want to do with it. 
which is a particular one, I'm going to run Motion OS on it. So I don't really need a big one, really, do I? Oh, it's all done. So if I'm going to continue, we're all done. We can get rid of that. If I go over here, it'll say it's got in there. I'm going to eject it so I can now remove it from my system. OK, that's all done. That's all you have to do if you want to use the Raspberry Pi Imager. Remember, it was written by Popey. Well, not written by him, but he made it into a snap. You do not have to use a snap if you don't want to. OK, you can download it for Debian and ARM. I'm not sure about Manjaro or Archbase Systems or anything else. Go and check it out if you want to. But yeah, super duper. Love it. Sneaky links out. See you later. Bye-bye.